Andrò. Welcome to Art Fest Ontario. Uh, day three in our little Ottawa studio here, virtual studio. Thanks for coming on board again. And uh, it's Sunday today, long weekend, uh, May long weekend. And we would normally be at the uh, distillery district right now, uh, just opening up. Well, should we be already be open? The place will be full of people. Sorry, just one second here. I'll share. I don't want to share. Okay. All right. Fine. Sorry, am I on now? This will stop in here. Yeah, I guess so. Okay. Sorry, I have a little technical issue here. I'm not sure. Sorry about that, but um, I think we're okay. So, anyways, back to what I was saying. Uh, welcome today. Uh, I know some of you have been uh, here maybe for both days already. I thank you so much for taking your time and sharing with it, sharing it with us. I know that your time is precious and uh, from Mary Ann Dalton as I only see Andy's screen. Sorry, I'm just having a problem with uh, my screen here. Hang on. Who can share only host? I don't know if that's gonna... Oh. for joining us today again. And we have some special guests coming up today. Andy Griffiths is gonna be with us here. He's um, a musician from Oakville area. He uh, performs it, has performed many times at Artfest live at the uh, Distillery District. And uh, he sure is missing uh, his gig there this weekend too, because he loves performing there. You know, we set up in the cobblestone area. People can all gather around and it's usually beautiful sunshine and the, the tunes just float out so nicely. It's just creates a great atmosphere. So we're gonna try and recreate that a little bit here today so we can have some live music. So he'll be on shortly. Um, and uh, so today we've got a few things we're gonna do. We're gonna uh, do the live music. We're gonna um, do the, uh, our kids activity. And uh, we're gonna talk about some artists again and uh, some specials that they're having. Most of the artists that in our event have actually got offered a special uh, feature for this uh, online event as far as their store goes. So they've got discounts on shipping, they've got uh, free gifts, they've got add-ons, they've got a few things. Uh, we're going to go over some of that today. And um, right now I'm just going to take you over because yesterday, actually two things happened yesterday that were that I wanted to just mention. One was that I, I was uh, carrying on uh, artfestontario.com website, which is our website, but I guess apparently I said artfest.com a number of times. So just so you'll be clear, our website is artfestontario.com. That's the right one. Oh, yeah, right. Just one second here, jeez. <laughs> Gonna just do one more thing here. So I thought today, you know, yesterday I um, I forgot to put, also forgot to put up the, the kids um, activity. So I thought today we would start off with that because I know kids are impatient and if they've been waiting for their, for their event, for their part to come up, then the kids don't want to sit around and wait. So I'm going to play it now. And then if, you know, if your kids aren't available right now to do this, to see this little project, doesn't matter. Um, we can, we can, um, a sec here. Hang on. Doing lots of things at once. Not now. Hang on here. Oh, we're like going live here. I'm just setting up the live on Facebook feed here too. So, <laughs> um, anyway, so I'm gonna I'm gonna play the kids activity now. It's on our website now. I put it up there for both days. But I'm gonna play play one, and I'm gonna play another one a little bit later, just to make up for the kids that didn't get a chance to have the activity uh, today. So I'm gonna just gonna get get over here to our website and art fest kids here we go and i can have this nifty thing i can share the screen here with you share screen and here we have the the art fest kids page so the first day one we did the you 
uh, created a monster. Yesterday's is a fun activity. This is such a great idea too. It's with spring coming up and being outside in the summer. Um, you know, kids can just go out in the yard and grab these tools. So I just watched this because it's really fun. And we'll just play this live. There we go. It's pretty fun for the kids. So um, and later on, I'm going to uh, play another one, another one of these videos for us a little bit later on today. And uh, that'll be fun as well. So, um, and as I mentioned before, Sabrina Parrish is our uh, Children's Art Program Director. So she's one of the one to put together these great projects. And, you know, she's really just a big kid herself, <laughs> I think. And, uh, you know, and actually it's kind of neat because she has, a, she has a little sister that uh, is 10, believe it or not. And she, I think she gets inspired a lot by her little sister too. That, and they do a lot of art together. So thanks for that, Sabrina. So um, we're just working in the background here a little bit about the, with the music, getting the music set up. So that's going to be great. And so I'm just going to take you over to uh, our website again for a minute and share with you one of our favorite exhibitors. Um, let's get this up. Uh, Edna's Pickles. So Edna's, Edna's one of my, you know, our favorite exhibitors. She's been doing our shows for many years and she's such a, another one of those exhibitors that participates in a big way and shares everything. And she's actually not even, wasn't even going to be in the May show this year. Um, only because her and Tony have had to cut back on some of their shows for various different reasons this year, but she'll be in our Kingston event. And I just wanted to, uh, to uh, share a bit about her just a couple of pictures here uh, because uh, they're just some of my favorite exhibitors here. So and you can go to their website and buy, buy their uh, amazing stuff too. So I'm just going to do another screen share here for a sec. Moving on. And just start this thing over here. So there's Edna there. See if I can get this into the full screen here. Oops, made it smaller. Hang on. Whoops. Hang on for a sec here. Let's get my let me get this fixed again. I did something wrong here. There we go. I guess I can't go full screen here. Let me just try that again. So I'll just tell you a little bit about that's Tony. Tony and Edna. Um, like I was saying, oops, do all of our shows. And there's Edna there. So she does amazing sampling of, of her, uh, her Indian style uh, pickles, uh, pickles um, condiments. I use them on everything that actually pretty well, I, 
I make, to be honest. They're so good. And she's got all kinds of great, great uh, recipes. But that's Tony, her husband. Now, Tony, you know, comes and helps with all the shows. And then he started, he started doing his own, his own stuff. And he started doing all this beautiful wood burning stuff. So it was really great that he participated. He also is um, it's just one of those handy guys, too. So I'll just show you something that's great. So I'm just going to uh, go over here to the web, web website here. Uh, Edna's Pickles. Here she is here. You can go on her, her shop and order whatever you want. And uh, I encourage you guys to do that uh, sometime over the weekend or anytime. Here we go. I'm back here. So um, the other thing about Edna's, Edna as well is that um, she's always making uh, new recipes. So Every time I go to her, I go to see her to show. She's like, "Oh, we got to see what I my new my new recipe here," and she, you know, gives me a jar, and it's just always a treat. Um, so how are we doing here? That so. Um, also on um, on our website here, I'm just going to find our next uh, artist here, uh, Cull Works. I don't know. Mindy from uh, Mindy and Marco from Callworks. They make uh, beautiful uh, candle. They call them candle lanterns. I'll just get up their page over here for us. And find them here. Where am I? Sorry about this. Hang on. There she is here. So I'm just going to share my screen here so I know what I'm talking about. So this is Colworks Candle Lanterns. Oops, just a sec here. And so they do um, their paraffin wax uh, candles. And then inside, uh, the windows here, they insert these beautiful stained glass um, art pieces that they put together. They're just absolutely beautiful. So there's, you know, they're great for relaxation. There's some Canadian themes, you know, you see the, the you know, moose there and the deer and then meditation and then they've got Buddha things and some really nice, nice uh, features. Now, um, one of the, and, and it would, actually when you when you, uh, these candles, when you, there's a little tea light inside them in here. And uh, you put the tea light in there and then when it lights, it glows, the whole thing glows. And it's just absolutely beautiful. Imagine it's like, it's like seeing a stained glass window, a little miniature stained glass windows, window. Now, one of the things was with, uh, I just wanted to say about Mindy and Marco, a couple of things. One, they, they can't actually sell online, which is unfortunate, but you can, uh, cause they can't ship cause their pieces are really quite fragile. And, uh, but they wanted to send up a little uh, message here. I'll just bring up their picture there. And uh, they wanted to wish everybody well. And uh, they hope to see you again soon at, uh, in a live show. So that's good there. And I've, you know, I've known uh, Mindy, again, was one of those, an artist I've known for a really long time. We started doing shows when, you know, she was so young I and mean, I was a bit older than she is, but she was in her early twenties doing the signatures craft shows in Toronto and other ones around the province. So we got to know each other quite well. And at that time I was actually, my company, I was making uh, uh, it's Harriet Spot designs. I don't know if any of you remember Harriet Spot designs, but um, I got you, I have a, I'll just show you here. I have, I don't know if you remember, does anybody remember their message, message in a bottle? I'll try to get this picture, message in a bottle. Remember these characters that I used to make with the bottles and the heads and, and uh, I also made a lot of salt and pepper sets and other wine glasses and things, but I had a lot of fun with the message in a bottle business. And, oh my God, it was so great. The, I, the concept was, it was, all, it was all hand painted glassware uh, and then these really beautiful shaped bottles. All the bottles I got were mainly from, uh, uh, they were Italian, made of Italian glass. And then we would draw all the designs on each one with a black liner. Um, it was a bit of a raised liner so that when you float in the, uh, the acrylic enamel paint, it would just flow right in and sit within the contained area where the, uh, the black liner was. 
and then you just let it sit and dry, uh, set. And then they were all baked um, and that uh, and here the enamel on to the, uh, the glassware and they were dishwasher safe and they were incredibly tough. Like I, I've got, I still have tons of them here, of course. I mean, I, I have made those, but I had salt and pepper sets and plates and wine glasses and really tough things, really fun. But the, the, the one thing about the message in a bottle was, you know, you, I had this built this contraption. It was like a, a wire coil and then I'd sort it into a cork. And then I put the little toppers, I'll show you again here, that had the little FEMO head. So these, these little FEMO corks, let's see here. I'm gonna get this to show here. These are all made of polymer, polymer clay. I think you see that. All handmade by polymer clay. It's a three-dimensional. Anyways, put the corks on there. And then you, what you do, there's a scroll of paper inside. And so you can write a, you can write a personal note to whoever you want to give the gift to. So it was a great, great gift idea, you know, you know, for teenagers, friends, girlfriends, it could be used for, you know, anything. And I had, I had like hundreds of scenes that we did, we did dragonflies and people and dogs and cats and, and everything you can think of. It was a lot of fun. People had a lot of fun with the message in a bottle. Um, you know, what you say, well, why don't we do, why aren't we making them anymore? Well, that, you know, sometimes there's, you know, trends happen in craft as, you know, you know, and sometimes uh, at, at that time, all the hand painted glassware started coming in from being imported in from China. And it just basically wiped out our business. Uh, you know, within a year, I, you know, our, our stuff wasn't selling like it was. And our stuff was more expensive because it was all handcrafted here. And uh, ours was, you know, guaranteed not to uh, come off and was tough. The ones from China just, you know, didn't quite hold it up some way, but people didn't know that. Anyway, so. That's when I shifted gears again and uh, reinvented myself yet again as an artist. So that's what we do as artists, I guess. But um, just a little story too, the, the, um, the oven that I use like, for baking that glassware was just a little, it was just a regular little oven. I ba baked like thousands and thousands and thousands of pieces of glass in that oven. Anyways, well, I don't use that oven for baking food, trust me. It's a toxic uh, wasteland, I think. <laughs> in there. So, um, uh, so anyway, on to our next artist here. I just wanted to talk about a little bit now about uh, Aerosmith Leather. So I'm going to go back over to our website. Exhibitors. And uh, talk about um, uh, Ron Tidrow. I'm going to get his stuff up here. Hang on a second. Actually, should maybe I'm just going to share this screen here a little bit too. I'm just saying, I'll just share it with you now because I want to show you a little bit about how you get around on our website. This is the Art, ArtFestOntario.com website. So at the top, if you want to shop today or anytime, we're open 24-7. There's two ways to shop on our line. You can go to the online of, uh, shop artists here and we have our artists here that I've actually built them an actual store in our, on our website. So all of these artists are being featured and you can shop at any one of these on any one of these pages here. You can also go to the Toronto show and go to the May exhibitors tab. And in here, you can link to all of the artists that are in our event that we're planning on being in our event in art, at art fest. And you can scroll down and look at, you know, look at things, click on anything you like, and it'll take you right to our uh, art fest blog page. And the reason we do this is because here we can share um, stories, background information, you know, how things are made. Ron can, you know, Ron, Ron can tell his story um, about products. Uh, this, just I'll go up here a little bit. These designs up here, these three designs under new designs, these were just, just made for the spring show and he has just launched these. So, um you can go here and uh have a look and anywhere along here as well you can see you can go on you can link to his web page but i think he also i'm just trying to think if he has a hang on if he has a special on today i think he has free oh yeah i think he has something like free shipping on let me just find that for you and um but i just want to look at you know these these purses that ron makes rod makes are really really tough um they're all sewn by by hand by him in his studio with his uh, industrial sewing machine and making purses is not an easy thing to do i'll tell you that right now um 
Uh, but you can go here and you can go on to his, here's his, his website here. If you see highlighted, the Aerosmith leather. That goes right to Ron's website. And then you can purchase things on his website. You can contact him there and talk to him. Um, here I am back again, thanks. Uh, and ask some questions. Now I just wanted to point something out today um, as well. We talked yesterday about people shopping online. Are they comfortable shopping online for arts and crafts? About 50 people percent that we asked on our on our show yesterday said 50-50 were had bought online as an art and craft had bought art and crafts online. So how do we make you know? I'm sorry. How do we, how do we make the uh, the rest of people be, feel comfortable with it? Now some people aren't comfortable shopping online. I mean, I know my mom, she would never shop online for something, you know, like that ever. And I'm, I suspect there's lots of other people that just aren't comfortable with doing it. But there's a couple things I want to mention. One is that, you know, if you shop with an art fest artist, then, you know, you've got already got a built in trust there and you've got a built in family and we're all we're all work together. We're accountable to each other. So you never have to worry about it's just basically giving you a, a head a, I don't know why I'm so itchy today. <laughs> um, uh, you know, a guarantee there for for you know being being a good a good option for buying online. But please, you know, if you have any questions and you're not and you're not comfortable, or you just have a question you just can't figure out when you look at their store, just phone them and ask or email them. Artists are love getting uh, messages from their customers. They're very attentive. They want to help. You can just give them a call. Say, listen, I want to buy this. How do I do it? Um, and then you can talk about details and if there's anything, you know, that they want to, you want to do a custom thing or a special, a special thing that they can do, then, then they'll do that. So I really encourage you, if you're not comfortable shopping online, uh, give it a try, call them up, um, and, uh, maybe they can even step you through the process uh, online on their store. So I've known Ron for a long, long time as well. He does all of our shows and, uh, He's a real pro, just like a lot of the artists in our events are. Um, and he's told me a really kind of a cute story. Uh, I don't know if anybody remembers the Ottawa Tulip Festival. I'm pretty sure it still goes on. It's always a bit of a dodgy one because it's, it takes place in April. Dodgy as far as weather goes. I mean, you've had, we've had crazy weather during the Tulip Festival in Ottawa. It's a beautiful, beautiful festival. There's always an art and craft component to it, and the artists would go there to set up, and that used to be 10 days long, which is a really long time to be outside, especially if it's cold like it has been this spring. I can't imagine that, you know, there was snowing and stuff, but one year he was out there, and it, he's telling me that it was, it was like, it was a spring like this year. It was really chilly and cold out, and they were just, they were set up. I think it was the first, it might have been the first day, and all of a sudden he heard these, you know, uh, helicopter chopper, and he's like, oh my god, what's that? And I, flying in really low in right over the right over the show and he was like what the heck is going on here and he was they were wondering is some kind of attack or something and then all of a sudden they um all these these tulip red tulip petals just started streaming out of the out of the helicopter and blanketed the whole festival with these beautiful beautiful uh tulip petals it was really really a magical moment so he he was just sharing that with me and uh, one of him, it was one of the most memorable things that he, re he remembers about doing shows. It was just like, at first it was kind of scary but it turned out to be a beautiful, beautiful thing. So, okay, so um, I'm just gonna go over to our next artist here. And I um, know oh, Mary Ann's doing um, uh, Facebook, Hanley Facebook chat. If you're on Mary, with Mary Ann, you can ask questions with her. And I know she's putting up links to things and it, explaining things that I don't, <laughs> if I miss something. As I mentioned before, I'm a, I'm a host in training and uh, I, I, I promise I'll get better. I'm you know, working hard at it, getting lots of tips from family and friends and from customers too. You know, I'm talking too fast or I'm whatever, gave the wrong mob website out, you know, talked about myself too much. Well, that's not, that's not hard for me to do. <laughs> so <laughs> happens to me quite often. But we, you know, we're here to talk about the artists. We don't want to make it sound like an info commercial either. We're here to give you background stories. We want you to shop online. Like I said before, the artists absolutely love getting, you know, orders online. It makes their day. They can't sell in person right now, which is what they really want to be doing. 
it's really the best way to do it. But what are we going to do? We can we can do the Art Fest online event and uh, and uh, hopefully uh, make up you know make some changes there and, and just enrich the whole experience. So I encourage you just to get out there and shop. As I said, they pay it forward. You buy from an artist, they buy they shop in your store, or your local stores. They they buy things for the family, the kids. They they do they they consume entertainment. You know they love they love uh, sharing their sharing the, the dollar forward. So I encourage you to shop there. So I'm just going to go back over to our website here and go over to my May exhibitors page back here and share the screen again. Here we go. Here, thank you. And I uh, just want to go down here. I know that you know, food is a food is a big uh, item at our shows. Um, you, some people say, "Why do you have, you know, gourmet food at um, at Art Fest?" But I'll tell you right now, it's um, let me just find my my blog post here. Uh, hang on, I missed my page again. It's been one of those days, I guess, for me. <laughs> Just take a second here. Go over here. Uh, I don't know how to get over to the what I'm looking for. But Carmichael meets. Let me just go here. Marianne can help me here. Um, nope. Sorry, folks. It's going to go over here. Well, maybe what I'll do for a second, I'll just start off with uh, Anne Marie's ABC since I've got her up here. So, Anne Marie ABC's, thanks for tolerating me here, uh, makes these really, really cute uh, illustrated um, children's pictures. So, each letter is actually each each illustration is actually a letter so v bunny ears it's really 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 adorable really cute leah and these are all new designs that she just did and she just did them for the spring show so that's quite quite cute and you can order online so you can go to online and you can actually order any of her any of her pieces and custom make them so i'm just going to go here stop my share back here so um and she sent me in this little story actually a couple days ago and i just want to read it to you so she wrote here we've all felt one that beautiful a beautiful reaction when someone calls us by our name it's like music to our ears and when you see we see our name printed anywhere our eyes just light up i've seen countless smiles on children's faces when they take hold of their name art to be honest that's my favorite part of the business of alphabet name making and something I look forward to when we were all back together when I can call you by your name and I know especially for kids you know that have an unusual spelling for the name or have an unusual name I mean you, you can't go to the store and just pick something out that is Lori L-O-R-Y because it doesn't exist but you can actually uh, when you know customize these names and they're a great a great gift item for any child so I encourage you guys to check out Anne Marie's a Anna Marie's ABCs on our website. So I'm just going to go over here too and while we're still sharing here. Just want to remind you. Oh, I guess I'm not sharing my screen right now. Sorry about that. Share. I'm going to go back over to my blog. Here we are here. This is what I was just talking about here. Anna Marie's beautiful letters here and her artwork. I mean, these are absolutely stunning and really creative way to, a really creative way to use letters. And these are her brand new, her brand new items. And at the top of the, on our blog page, you can always check, click on her website and go there and, and order something there. So I'm just gonna hop over here. Um, I've, and go to this person here, Lori McDonald. So I wanted to share a little bit about me. I, not that I'm not sharing about everything about me, but I actually am on the website as well. I have my paint. There's my beautiful dog, Frankie. 
Um, this is my artwork and I've got a great sale on today. For the show, I wanna you know, support uh, and get this online thing uh, really happening for the artists and I want people to know that they can come to the Ontario Art Fest, uh, Art Fest Ontario website and get amazing things. So I've actually got a sale on all my paintings and trying to encourage some getting people thinking about buying some art. So this is what, these are my pieces here. You can see uh, some bigger pieces. This is Ardor Lux. This is a, it's a tribute to Canadian summer uh, vistas, summer cottages and warmth, summer breezes, long days and relaxation. And if you, and I love the colors in this. It's a, you know, a soft colors as you, as you can see with the rest of my paintings, they're quite colorful. They don't necessarily sit quietly in a room. They kind of, you know, like to have a, a presence. They look fantastic in, in spaces where, you know, you need a pop of color. Um, and with the Ardor Lux piece, I wanted to, to experiment with uh, just kind of toning things down a little bit, uh, it being a bit more, having more relaxing colors. So that was, that was a challenge for me, to be honest, because I'm a colorful person. Everything I do seems to have color. I mean, look at our background, Art Fest online background. It's all lots of color. I think maybe that's because I'm an artist, I'm not sure, but I, I really like color. So and my, the largest piece I have here is this one here. This is, uh, uh, I think this one's five feet by four feet. Uh, big undertaking for me. That was my, one of my biggest pieces. Uh, not that I wasn't that comfortable with doing huge pieces, but it, and every time you scale up, I don't know if you know that when you do a painting, when you do a, when you do a painting and you're used to painting, um, let me just get out of the thing here. I'm just going to talk for a second. When you do a painting and you're used to painting a certain size, if it's small or big, whatever, it's, it's, it's a real challenge to change your scale suddenly. Like, it's a whole different world when you're, and if you're having, if you're used to doing small paintings and you're like on your table or in your living room or something, and then you try to do a big piece, you need to have space, a big space to be able to step away and look at it and really look at it. So you need to have room to do big pieces. I think I do anyway, like this is what I've experienced. So it is a challenge. I don't, I encourage people to play around with different sizes if they are paint, painting and experimenting a little bit with trying uh, with painting. Don't be afraid and don't get discouraged and think, oh, I can't paint big, oh, I can't paint small. Well, you know, it just takes practice and changing, changing your mindset there. So, totally doable. So, yeah, so if you want to get a great deal in a painting, then uh, you can check out uh, me on the, sh on the shop. And I uh, also want to remind people, uh, too, that with the, um, the Ashford twist, just going to give another note about this again because we've talked about this um, and I know different people are on different days, but Ashford Twists, they're making the mask. Don't forget you get a 25% discount on when you order through our store with order with this, use this promo code ArtFest on their, uh, on their webpage. And then you will, you will get a 25% discount right at the top. So I encourage you to do that because we're all going to need one of these, unfortunately. So I'm going to go over back over to the kids section. Oh, ready to go. Okay. Okay. That's great news. So I'm pretty excited about this. This uh, was the first time having a live, uh, having music here. So Andy's going to go and unmute him. Can you, oh, that's very end, so Andy, here he is. Make co-host, do I have to make a co-host, guys? I'm not sure I have to do that or not. Can you hear us? Not sure how to turn them on here. Hang on for a sec, Let's get this figured out. He's trying to get his, oh, there's, there's his camera there. Oh, there he is. Hi, Andy. Can you hear you ready me? to go? I think so.
Just waiting for you to come on here. I can't hear you very clearly, but. I'm here. Hey, here you are. I'm gonna ah, I can I can hear you and you can see me and hear me. I can. Yay. Yeah, that's great. I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, turn off my camera so everybody can just see you. I think that's is that how to do it here? Let's see how that uh, works. I don't know. There. Everybody can see you. So Yay, welcome, right. Andy. Can you hear me okay? Glad to be here finally. <laughs> yeah, it was you know, it's our first time doing this and I appreciate you coming on board. Yep, we're all learning how to do this stuff, so it takes a little bit of time. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a surprising amount of stuff in the background that goes on with uh, getting good sound. So, Absolutely. I just, everybody, this is Andy Griffiths, and he's been with ArtFest at many shows. And um, just wanted to chat with you for a second before we get started here. Sure. So you're, uh, you're not just a musician, you know, you're a dual career man. And yep. I if you wanted to share a little bit about what it is, that, what else that you do. Um, well, my, my career, my main career, I guess, is architectural design. And what does that mean? What do you do? What is it you do? You design buildings or? So, yeah, as far as, um, as far as architectural design goes, I do, um, commercial buildings. I design houses for people. Uh, one thing I've been doing a lot for the past few years is designing car dealerships for all sorts of different brands, such as Mercedes and BMW and Honda and Toyota and all those guys, which that's been pretty interesting. And uh, my um, passionate hobby, well, not really hobby, I spend a lot more time than just a hobby, is music. It's something I've been doing for many years and uh, it, it relieves my stress and keeps me happy. So it sounds like it's your favorite career, being a musician. If I can make enough money at being a musician, I'd probably be a musician. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, uh, okay, well, let's get started. Would you want to tell us what you're going to play for, this, with, uh, play for us today? Well, why don't we play a few family songs for the kiddies and uh, the big kids and the little kids. And everybody can sing along. They're fairly easy songs. This, this first one's called Our Cat Flash. And um, we released the album a couple of years ago, and it has nine original songs on it that I wrote, and two covers of Fred Penner songs. And uh, this is the title track off the album. It's called Our Cat Flash. It's about a Siamese cat. You have to help me sing along. I'll teach you, it's very simple. Our cat Flash is a very fast cat, but he can't control the speed he is at. He goes running around the room, going boom, 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 running into this and that. Here we go. Our cat Flash, go. Our cat Flash, go. Our cat Flash is a very fast cat, but he can't control the speed he is at. He goes running up the stairs and bounces on the bed, hits the ceiling and bumps his head. Here we go. Our cat Flash, go. Our cat Flash, go. Our cat Flash. I wake up in the morning and I come down the stairs. Flashes at the kitchen door. I give him his food, he eats it all up, and then he meows for more. Meow. Our cat Flash, go. Our cat Flash, go! Our cat Flash is a very fast cat, but he can't control the speed he is at. He goes sliding across the floor, and through the kitchen door hits the wall with a crash! Our cat Flash, go! Our cat Flash, go! Our cat Flash is a very fast cat, but he can't control the speed he is at. Goes running across the field, his fear is in the lead. It's a very strange sight indeed. Here we go. Our cat flash, go. Our cat flash, go. Our cat flash. I wake up in the morning and I come down the stairs. Flashes at the kitchen door. I give him his food, he eats it all up, and then he yells for more. Our cat flash, go. Our cat flash, go! Our cat flash, 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 our cat go! Our flash 
fun nice good yeah so How about flash isn't with us anymore unfortunately but man he was a good cat yeah. he lived lived a good long life and got into a lot of mischief so we have to write a song for him <laughs> yeah and i think didn't you you have a book about you have a book about flash yeah we do have a book and you know what i don't think i have one handy but um definitely oh just a second i'm gonna I disappear for one second I will be back. Yeah. I'm actually right here in the room with you. I'm just grabbing the book. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, I've read, I've read the book. My granddaughter loves it. Oh, that's great. Yeah. How old is your granddaughter? Well, she's, she's going to be 10 this year. Oh, so she has no problem reading it then. Oh, no, she's reading novels now. But very... Nice. So that's Splash. And who did the artwork on, in the book? And the artwork was done by my wife, Helen Griffiths. And uh, I'll show you a couple of samples of what you'll see in the book. Looking for a good one. So Flash, in this book, Flash had a little friend and the little friend was a mouse. <laughs> and then at the back of the book, we have the uh, music for the song. The song that we just sang is in the back of the book. So you can actually get the um, words and you get the chords and the melody. That's, That's kind of awesome. neat. So are you, are you selling that? Are you selling that book? Yeah. Something? So we've got, we've got copies of that book available and the book is $15. And we also have copies of the CD, which has the 11 songs on it, including our cat flash. And we're selling that for uh, $15 as well. Cool. Was that, on, was that on your website? Yes, on the website, it's andygandfriends.com. Andy G. We'll put that up in the chat, andygandfriends.com. Yeah, and I, I normally would play shows with friends. I do have um, my friend Jay Burr is a tuba, tuba player, and my friend Andrew Aldridge is a guitarist, and they usually come out to shows with me and help out. So unfortunately, right now, we have to social distance, so... We're, de we're, you know, waiting for that time that we can all get together and play music, music again. It's a lot of fun. Yes, I've seen Jay uh, with his tuba at the at Art Fest. Uh, I'll see if I can find that video because I have a little video of it. I'll see if I can find. Oh, it. cool. Yeah. That's neat. All right. So, what's next on your on your playlist? Well, how about sandwiches? This is a song that Fred Penner played that my kids grew up with and. Um, this was the song that kind of inspired me to play music for kids because I really enjoyed this and I saw Fred Penner play this song many times and I'm kind of hungry right now so it's a good song to sing. <laughs> it's called Sandwiches. Sandwiches are beautiful, sandwiches are fine. I like sandwiches, I eat them all the time. I eat them for my supper, I eat them for my lunch. And if I had a hundred sandwiches, I'd eat them all at once. Do -do 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 I'm roaming and I'm rambling and wondering all along. And if you care to listen, I will sing a happy song. I will not ask a favor, I will not ask a fee. But if you have yourself a sandwich, won't you give a bite to me? Go, sandwiches are beautiful, sandwiches are fine. I like sandwiches, I eat them all the time. I eat them for my supper, I eat them for my lunch. And if I had a hundred sandwiches, I'd eat them all at once. Do 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 do. Once I went to England, I visited the Queen. I swear she was the grandest lady that I'd ever seen. 
I told her she was beautiful, she could not ask for more. She handed me a sandwich and she threw me out the door. Go, sandwiches are beautiful, sandwiches are fine. I like sandwiches, I eat them all the time. I eat them for my supper, I eat them for my lunch. And if I had a hundred sandwiches, I'd eat them all at once. Doodle doo 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 doo. Once I met a pretty girl, the fairest in the land. The young men in the country, they were asking for her hand. They'd offer her the moon, they'd offer her the sea. I offered her a sandwich and she said she'd marry me. Go, sandwiches are beautiful, sandwiches are fine. I like sandwiches, I eat them all the time. I eat them for my supper, I eat them for my lunch. And if I had a hundred sandwiches, I'd eat them all at once. Do -do 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 -do. Well, there's lots of sandwiches that we could make, and I like all sorts. Ham and cheese, egg, peanut butter and jam, those are just a few. A sandwich may be bigger cheese or even peanut butter, but they all taste so good to me, it really doesn't matter. Jam or ham or cucumber, any kind will do. I like sandwiches, how about you? Go, sandwiches are beautiful, sandwiches are fine. I like sandwiches, I eat them all the time. I eat them for my supper, I eat them for my lunch. And if I had a hundred sandwiches, I'd eat them all at once. Do -do 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 all right, let's do that one last time. You guys know the words now. Let's all sing it together so they can hear us in Toronto. If you're in Toronto, that's even better. <laughs> sandwiches are beautiful, sandwiches are fine. I like sandwiches, I eat them all the time. I eat them for my supper, I eat them for my lunch. And if I had a hundred sandwiches, I'd eat them all at once. If I had a hundred sandwiches, I'd eat them all at once. If I had a hundred sandwiches, if I had a hundred sandwiches, if I had a hundred sandwiches, I'd eat them all at once. Are you hungry now? <laughs> I am. <laughs> oh, that's great. I think I'd eat a sandwich. How is it sounding? Sounds okay? It sounds great here. Hopefully our, our guests and our attendees are enjoying it. If, um, let Marianne know and I hope so. If you have any questions or answers and uh, yeah, let us know how it sounds. And we're looking forward to hearing about that. But yeah. I think we have, we can do another one. What, what else is up there? You got one something? more song? Yeah. All right. Um, just so you know, we're working on a new album mm -hmm. now. We've got a few new songs in the works and uh, while we're all self-isolating, I'm taking this time to, you know, do some recording and stuff like that. I also record songs for adults, so I've been recording some of those as well. So lots of stuff going on to keep me busy. So hopefully we'll be getting back to work soon. We'll be able to go around and see all our friends and all that. Um, let's see now, which one should I do? How about, I just need to grab myself a capo, I'll be back. Alrighty. How about a song about frogs? This one's called Going to the Frog Pond. When my kids were little, we used to go up to the uh, cottage quite often, way up north near Bancroft. It was actually at the bottom of um, Algonquin Park. The actual place was called Wilberforce, but Wilberforce is just a tiny little place, you may not know it. But anyway, just a short walk from this cottage, about 10-15 minutes away, there was a pond. And guess who lived in the pond? A lot of frogs lived in the pond. So we wrote a song about the frogs in the pond. It's called Going to the Frog Pond. Go into the frog pond, we're gonna catch a frog. Just to say hello, and then we'll let him go. We're going
go into the frog pond. We'll stand on the muddy banks, in amongst the reeds. Be careful not to slip and fall into the weeds. From a little pollywog to the great big money frog. We'll sit in the water and say, Ribbit, 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 ribbit. We're going to the frog pond. We're gonna catch a frog. Just to say hello, and then we'll let him go. We're going to the frog pond. Ribbit, ribbit. The weather is hot and dry, but the water is wet and cool. As they sit on their lily pads and swim around the pool from a little polywood to the great big mommy frog. They sit in the water and say, Ribbit, 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 ribbit. We're going to the frog pond. We're going to catch a frog. Just to say hello, and then we'll let him go. We're going to the frog pond. Ribbit, ribbit. You've got to be quiet and still. Sometimes they're hard to spy, because a frog can be quite shy. And they really like to hide from a little polywog up to the great big mummy frog. They sit in the water and say, Ribbit, 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 and again, ribbit, 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 one more time, ribbit, 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 ribbit. We're going to the frog pond. Here we come. We're going to the frog pond. Look at there. There's a frog pond over there. We're going to the frog pond. Ribbit, ribbit. Ribbit, ribbit. We're going to the frog pond. Almost there. We're going to the frog pond. We've got to be quiet. We don't want to scare the frogs. Shh, shh, shh. We're going to the frog pond. Shh, shh, shh. We're going to the frog pond. Shh, shh, shh. We're going to the frog pond. There we go. Thanks for singing along, guys. That was great. <laughs> I hope you did your froggy sounds. Ribbit, ribbit. That was great, Andy. Thank you so much for coming on today. We'll have you on again, I hope, during our online event. Thanks, Lori. That was fun. Maybe you could share some of your other new songs too, not just your not not just your kids, but show us what else you're up to. Oh, some adult songs next time, maybe, eh? Yeah, let's do that. We can do that, that sounds like a good idea. Yeah, now that we got it figured out. And um, I'm gonna uh, turn off your screen now and then I'm gonna take people over to your website. Great, thank you. See ya and show them where they can buy music. So we're gonna go over here. Is that showing up guys? Just wanna make sure. Yeah, okay. That's right. Um, here's Andy's. Here's uh, Andy's website here for the uh, his kids program. There's this the fantastic tuba player. They're performing there. You can buy their books and and their music there. And also, if you want to go over to his. Uh, um, other website. Let's find it over here. Music. Here he is. This is our this is our Art Fest Ontario uh, music page. There's a bit of story here about Andy, and there's a link right on there as well that goes right goes right to his website. Whoops. 
it looks like I got the wrong link in there, but it goes, it goes right to his website. Uh, down here, here we go, <laughs> the wrong one there. There he is. So you can go there too and you can shop and listen to some of his music. He's got lots of live music on there you can listen to and you can also buy his CD. So I encourage you to do that. So I'm not sure if I've got that off or not. Yeah, I think I do. Stop video. Sorry about that. I hope I, hope I was uh, showing you the right screen there. I'm not sure if I was. I'm doing notes from my family here, my team here. Yeah, our team today is uh, Marianne on social media, um, Al on helping with Q&A and the technical stuff in the background, and Marcelo was on today for a while helping us get the music set up. Thank you so much for being here with me today. I've got a couple minutes left, not much, but I'm hoping uh, you can share your ideas and comments. What, what would you like to see on ArtFest on live event? Uh, dot, you know, with, with our daily show. We're coming, we're doing every day till May 22nd. And i uh, got lots of th things to share today. It's amazing how fast an hour actually goes by. I, the first day I was worried I wasn't gonna have enough stuff to talk about, but I guess there's lots to share. And there's so many things on the artist's website, on our, on our website, artfestontario.com. Encourage you to go there, explore, look around, look at the store. It's our featured artists. Look at the uh, May Exhibitors uh, page where you can link to all the blog posts and read about them. Like I said, I love sharing and telling stories about the artists. And uh, uh, I also really like, uh, you know, helping them out too with, with making and empowering them to make sales online. And I please go shop at the artist's booth and in our, in our, in our virtual store, which is uh, until May 22nd and and you can share share that link with anybody you want um, things have been going well with uh, on Facebook and with sharing the links we've had we've had uh, over 2,000 views on our on our show uh, after we've had it plus all the people that are uh, currently online live so thanks for sharing that because I've asked it, I've asked what everybody I know all my friends family to to share and the artists to share what we're up to here because we're practicing, because we're going to be getting ready for our Art Fest Kingston show, which is coming up on July 1st to the 4th. And we're going to have a, a jam-packed uh, agenda for that. So I need to get uh, all the kinks ironed out here on my May show. And uh, things are going well. I'm having a lot of fun uh, sharing everything and talking about the artists. So I hope you're enjoying it too. Uh, and oh, I had one quick question before everybody signs off here. I've got a poll, I'm going to launch this poll, and it says, talking about uh, any interest, do, do you ever take, um, have you ever taken an online uh, art workshop? And I want to hear back from people if they, if they have, because um, we, we ran um, um, live adult uh, art workshops last year in Kingston at our event. And for the first time, and they were a huge hit. People loved them. They were, you know, hour long workshops, really fun, not very expensive. People came away with fantastic projects. And I have to say thank you to uh, Rhonda Evans for helping me and, uh, and her partner um, for uh, helping me facilitate that and making it work. So we're thinking about doing the same thing. And uh, for Kingston and trying them online. So let me know what you think about our online art classes. If you've tried them, do you like them? If you've taken any, and, I, and then we'll maybe we'll get some up for that. Looks there like, well, a lot of people have actually, a lot of people have taken online art classes. Good, that's a good sign. All right, signing off for today. Thank you so much for joining us. And uh, at artfestontario.com, I'm Lori McDonald which I probably never said from the beginning, but I'm Lori McDonald, president of ArtFest Ontario, and your host for our online event. Take care. See you tomorrow. Bye.